Dear students, I am Dr. Ravindra Prasad, Associate Professor of Department of Indology, Prasad Ekaldar University. I am here to discuss about types of larva and pupa of insect. In previous class, we have discussed about metamorphosis of insect and the process of diapause of insect. But to, and today, we will discuss on the types of larva and pupa of insects. As we know, insect poses normally four developmental stages that is, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. So, larva is the second stage, and pupa is the third stage of the insect in their developmental stages. And uh, in the different insect species, a structure and shape of larva varies. And based on the degree of morphological development and position of legs, they are classified into four groups that is, polypod, oligopod, apodus, and protopod. That means, based on the position of number of legs, is larvae of insect are classified into four groups, four main groups, that is polypod, oligopod, apodus, and protopod. So first category of larva each polypod larva that is also known as ursiform larva. And under this poly means many, several. And pod means legs. That means those larva which have numerous pods, numerous legs may be called as polypod larva or is useful larva. These have well-defined body segmentation. Abdominal legs or pro legs are present. Those legs which are emerging from abdominal regions are known as abdominal legs. Or the same that is abdominal legs are also termed as pro legs. And in case of polypod larva, abdominal legs are present. Antenna and thoracic legs are short and body of this type of larvae is cylindrical and hence often called is uriciform. Uriciform means the larva which are having cylindrical body shape. Example is larvae of moth and soft lice. Majority of Based belonging to Leptera group of insects are termed as moth. Adult stage is termed as moth. And their larva of moth and soft fly have polypod type of larva. In such type of larva, some are hairy and some are without hairy. Among the hairy caterpillars, there are so many genus and species in, the, in this type of hairy caterpillars. And some examples are red hairy caterpillar, Amsakta mori, Bihar hairy caterpillar, Aspilosoma obliqua, and other so many sun hemp hairy caterpillar. Dramastic hair hair caterpillar and hair may be dense, sparse, or arranged in tufts. Hair may be may cause irritation when touched. In rainy season or winter season, in damp walls of house, also have some 
type of hairy caterpillars and that, that caterpillar are feeding on the fungus grown on the worm. When we touch those caterpillar, their hairs may cause irritation for us. And the school is distributed all over the body, such as larva is called platyform larva. Pro legs are present. Pro legs are either lacking or rudimentary in either third or fourth abdominal segments. An example is for of this type of larva is castor semi lupa, achaya janata. Here, two legs are wanting, but wanting or lacking, and or rudimentarily present, either in the third or fourth subnormal segments. And another group of the same larval group. Two pairs of prolex are present in sixth and tenth abdominal segments. An example is Dhaicha semi lupa. Dhaicha is a plant and paste is Dhaicha semi lupa, which had two pairs of prolex which are present in sixth and tenth, not continuous, all regular. The pro legs are not regular in presence. One pair of pro legs are present in sixth, whereas another pair on tenth segments. Oligopod and another group after polypod, oligopod type of larva are there in the Class insecta. The presence of build up, the presence of oligopod of larvae, the presence of well developed thoracic legs, absence of abdominal legs and appendages, except cerci and caudal processes, are characteristic of oligopod larvae. In, in, uh, so, in case of oligopod larva, their abdominal legs are lacking. Only thoracic legs are present. That means three pairs of legs are present in the thorax region of such a larva, and these larva are known as thoracic leg, thoracic, uh, thoracic uh, larva. So the sixth region of the larva, we have three pairs of legs and such type of larva is known as oligopod larva. And oligopod larva are of two types, compodiform larva and ascarbiform larva. In case of uh, compodiform larva, Larval body is elongate, somewhat flattened, and will despotize. Head is prognathous. Program, program, Thoracic legs are long. Cerci and dina are well developed. And larva of boat, example is larva of ladybird beetle. And first instar larva of glister beetle. Larva of ladybird beetle and first larva larvae in star of Mr. Peter are the best example of competitive form larvae. The second group of oligopod larvae is ascarbiform larvae. Larva are C-shaped. Larva are C-shaped. A stalk and sub-cylindrical with fleshy body. Head well developed. Thoracic legs short and pro legs and caudal process are absent. And these larvae are generally very sluggish. Though body is very stout, stout, 
strong, but uh, still the habit of the larva is very sluggish. An example is white grub and dung beetle. Apodus, another group of larva is called apodus. Apodus means the larva which have no pods, no legs. They, the larva without appendages for locomotion, based on the degree of development and cellular resistance of head capsule, there are three subtypes of apodus larva. Eucephalus, hemicephalus and acephalus. A potus larva can be grouped into three categories based on the degree of development of development and ascularization of head capsule. And first category of a potus larva is acephalus, second one is semicephalus, third one is acephalus. Eucephalus larva are with well-developed head capsule with functional mandibles. Functional maxillae, stemata and antennae. Mandibles act transversely. An example is a regular, regular and regular is known as, regular is a word which refers to larva of mosquito and grub of red palm baby. Red palm baby. So grub or larva of red palm baby and larva of mosquito comes under the category eucephalus. And second one is hemicephalus. Hemi means half. Head capsule is reduced and can be withdrawn into thorax. Mandibles act vertically. An example is larva of horsefly and overfly. This is these are hemicephalus type of epotus larva. Acephalus category of epotus larva, head capsule is absent. Mouth parts consist of a pair of possible curve. Mouth hooks and associated internal sclerites. They are also called vermiform larva because they look like vermiform in the form of vermiform. Worm, worm, an example is larva of housefly and larvae of the terrestrial insect is known as maggot. So maggot of the terrestrial group of insect are acephalus normally. These are the photograph. From beneath, where housefly is seen, larva is apodus. Just you have this, this is valley from larva, and one photograph larva is having well developed head capsule. So, how these three type of apodus larva. Here you can see another this slide, this picture shows that different type of polypod larva are here A, B and C and different type of oligopod larva having D, E, F and different type of epod larva, epodus larva are G, H, I. So these are the different category of larva, different types of larva, their characteristics and their suitable examples. Now come to different type of pupa of insect. As we know that pupal stage is resting stage of the insect. Pupal stage is resting stage of the insect. Wherein in internal development of the body is taking place for the trans trans 
transformation of the third stage of the initial gathering pupa into adult. Thus, resting, non feeding, or inactive stage of hollow metabolous insect is called pupa. During this stage, the larvae are transformed into adult through a process of reconstructive development leading to the formation of adult. Three types of pupa can be distinguished. And pupa, pupal stage are generally are mostly found in case of hollow metabolous insect that is complete metabolous complete metabolosis where complete metabolosis is going on. So three type of pupa are object type, chrysalis type and tumbler type. Object pupa First one in the object pupa, the appendages of the pupa are not free and are glued to the body. Only tip of the abdominal region shows a movement. When we touch the pupa, only tip of the abdominal region shows movement and other are motionless. Other region are motionless. The pupa may often enclosed in a cocoon as in moths or may be naked as in butterfly. In case of moth, pupa is enclosed in a cocoon and in case of butterfly, pupa may be naked. So example is moth and butterflies of object type of pupa. Chrysalis, it is a naked object butterfly. It is angular and attractively colored. The pupa is attached to the substratum by hook present at the terminal end of the abdomen called cremaster. The middle part of the chrysalis is attached to the substratum by two strong silken threads and that silken threads is called girdle. Next one is tumbler. Pupa of mosquito is Tumbler. It is an object type of pupa. It is comma shaped as shown in the diagram. It is tumbler type of pupa is in, is in comma shaped with rudimentary appendages. Breathing trumpets are present in the cephalic end and inner pedals are present at the end of the abdomen. Abdomen is capable of jerky movements which are produced by anal pedals. The pupa is very active in case of tumbler pupa, extra red type of pupa. Various appendages that is antenna, legs and wing pads are not glued to the body. They are free. All oleopod larva will turn into extra red pupa. The pupa is soft and pale in color. Pupa of rhinoceros petal is the best example of excited pupa. Third one is protect type of pupa. In this case, pupal case is barrel shaped, a smooth with no apparent appendages. The last larval skin is changed into case containing serrate pupa, the hardened dark brown pupal case is called puparia. An example is pupa of fly. So these are the picture of the, this category of pupa. Different types of pupa are seen here. This is all about Categorization of insect larvae and categorization of insect people. Thank you.